In this video, we're going to talk about hyperbaric oxygen, what it is, how it works, and how it might be helpful for orthopedic injuries like muscle injuries, injuries the quadriceps muscles, hamstring muscles, calf muscles, and many more. My name is Dr. David Geyer, double board certified orthopedic surgeon, sports medicine specialist, and media medical expert. I help you feel and perform your best regardless of age, injury, or medical history. Now, please understand, in this video and in all of my videos, I'm not giving you medical advice. This is meant for general information and educational purposes only. Hyperbaric oxygen therapy has become popular recently among injured athletes due to its hypothetical benefits on accelerated recovery, especially seen among professional athletes. If we're going to discuss the role of hyperbaric oxygen as a potential treatment for muscle and other orthopedic injuries, we have to start by talking about what it is exactly. Hyperbaric oxygen therapy and treatments involve lying in a chamber, breathing pure oxygen in a pressurized environment. For it to be effective, according to the Undersea and Hyperbaric Medical Society, the pressure should be about 1.4 ATA or higher, meaning that much higher than normal atmospheric pressures. Within most hyperbaric oxygen therapy chambers, the air pressure is two to three times higher than normal air pressure. Your lungs absorb more oxygen, deliver it to the rest of your body than they do under normal conditions. When your blood carries extra oxygen throughout your body, it stimula stimulates healing of tissues. Hyperbaric oxygen therapy is a proven treatment for decompression sickness in scuba diving. It can treat non-healing wounds, infections, and carbon monoxide poisoning. Now let's apply that theory to muscle injuries. Muscle injuries ex exist along a broad spectrum of pathologies. Muscle cramps, delayed onset muscle soreness, muscle contusions, muscle strains, muscle tears. Muscle strains and tears are among the most common musculoskeletal injuries in all of sports. They cause athletes to miss a long time from their sports. A recent study looked at a number of common injuries suffered by college athletes that led to more than 21 days missed from practice and competition. Muscle strains were the second most common of those injuries. So how does hyperbaric oxygen therapy work? Well, it has both short and long-term effects. In the short term, it enhances oxygen delivery to the injured tissue. It reduces edema, improves uh, what's called neutrophil phagocytic function, meaning the damaged tissue and debris are removed. Hyperbaric oxygen has an anti-inflammatory effect. It counters tissue damage from ischemia and reperfusion, or a lack of blood flow to an area with sudden return of that blood flow. Over longer periods of time with multiple sessions, hyperbaric oxygen it induces the formation of new blood vessels and stimulates collagen production. All of these effects could enhance the recovery and rehab of an injured muscle. Hyperbaric oxygen also appears to have effects at the cellular and growth factor level. Treatments produce free radicals in the body and reactive oxygen and reactive nitrogen species. These activate cellular processes and pathways that can increase growth factors like vascular endothelial growth factor and stromal derived factor one. It also appears to increase bone marrow derived stem cells such as CD34. To understand though why hyperbaric oxygen would be helpful for muscle healing and recovery specifically, we have to understand what happens when a muscle's injured. In the acute phase of healing, the body releases inflammatory cytokines. The blood vessels in that area of muscle damage open up, allowing more blood flow, brings neutrophils and other inflammatory cells to the muscle, and yes, it causes the muscles to swell. Now, in the setting of muscle damage, hyperbaric oxygen can accelerate the transition from that inflammatory state to a proliferative state. It accelerates the transition of macrophages that are recruited to the area of damage from pro-inflammatory M1 macrophages to anti-inflammatory M2 macrophages. It also promotes higher numbers of proliferating and differentiating satellite cells. Satellite cells can undergo transformation to myoblast, muscle-forming cells, which initiate muscle regeneration. This can lead to improved muscle fiber regeneration and strength. So what does the research say about hyperbaric oxygen specifically for muscle injuries? Well, let's start with delayed onset muscle soreness. This is the condition most of us ex have experienced at some point in our lives, like lifting weights for the first time in a long time. Your muscles experience a, just a tremendous amount of soreness 24 to 48 hours after heavy physical exertion. In terms of using hyperbaric oxygen treatments to accelerate recovery from or prevent delayed onset muscle soreness, one study did show that patients who used hyperbaric oxygen had faster recovery from delayed onset muscle soreness. 
but other studies have shown inconsistent results. In fact, one study showed patients who used hyperbaric oxygen actually had higher pain scores at 48 and 72 hours. Well, how about muscle strains, muscle tears, and muscle contusions? There haven't been any published research studies on hyperbaric oxygen treatments for humans with either a muscle strain or tear or muscle contusions, but several studies have been done in the lab using animals. One study in rats showed that compared to control rats, the rats who underwent hyperbaric oxygen treatments had lower levels of creatinine kinase, a marker of muscle damage. Those rats had higher muscle weight 72 hours after injury compared to the control rats. A 2020 rat study showed that after a muscle contusion or sort of a muscle bruise, rats treated with hyperbaric oxygen had increased formation of new blood vessels in the area of damage due to increased nit nitric oxide and improved muscle regeneration through that vascular endothelial growth factor and fibroblast growth factor. And finally, a 2020 study in mice found that the mice who did 14 days of hyperbaric oxygen had increases in the myoblast growth rate and myogenin and actin production, leading to muscle cells and fibers that perform better physiologically and had increased strength. So what's the treatment regimen for hyperbaric oxygen if you're going to do it? Most clinics which use hyperbaric oxygen for patients typically use between 2 and 2.8 atmospheres of pressure. Each session is between 60 and 120 minutes. There's some debate about how long patients need to do it. A rat study performed last year showed that either five daily hyperbaric oxygen treatments or three treatments within three days of injury promoted muscle regeneration. Side effects of hyperbaric oxygen are worth talking about. Now, it's believed to be safe. If negative side effects occur, they're generally mild and reversible. There's two main concerns with hyperbaric oxygen. One pertains to an inability to balance pressure between the pressurized environment and any gas-filled space in your body, known as barotrauma. The other relates to oxygen toxicity. Now, in terms of barotrauma, the middle ear is most commonly affected. The tympanic membrane, or what we call the eardrum, that can rupture and air can be trapped in your sinuses, especially in people with polyps, nasal or sinus obstruction or inflammation, and that can cause problems in hyperbaric oxygen. Now, in terms of oxygen toxicity, that can result from breathing oxygen at increased pressures. Theoretically, hyperbaric oxygen can generate so many free radicals and it can, it can affect the central nervous system, potentially leading to visual changes, ringing in the ears, nausea, twitching, anxiety, confusion, dizziness, occasionally even a seizure. Now, please understand the research into hyperbaric oxygen and its effectiveness for muscle injuries and other orthopedic injuries is tricky. It's very hard to design human studies with control groups because each participant would easily know if they were in the treatment or the control group. Some studies have tried to use sham treatments in which participants lie in chambers with pressures 1.1 to 1.3 ATAs of pressure, but even those have been difficult to truly blind participants to know whether or not they're receiving hyperbaric oxygen. So what do we make of all this? Hyperbaric oxygen therapy appears to be able to enhance oxygen delivery to injured muscles, reduce edema and swelling, as well as reduce inflammation in the tissue, improve blood flow to the area, and increase collagen synthesis. As a result, it's fair to say that hyperbaric oxygen might have the potential to help the process of healing among injured athletes. But since human studies are few and far between, we need more and better designed human research to truly prove that hyperbaric oxygen can facilitate the return to play of athletes after muscle injury. If you'd like to read the studies I talked about in this video, I've provided links in the description below this video. If you like videos like this one and want more information about optimal health and wellness, healing and recovery from orthopedic injuries so you can feel and perform your best regardless of age, injury, or medical history, subscribe to this channel. Click the bell to be notified of new videos and live streams whenever I do. If you have a muscle injury, tendon ligament injury, arthritis, bone joint injury, whatever it is, and you want to see somebody who truly knows about these kind of injuries in athletes and active people, I'd love to help. I'm a double board certified orthopedic surgeon, sports medicine specialist, and I'd love to talk to you about all your options to recover from injury, not just surgery, cortisone shots, physical therapy. Talk to you about all your options. Go to my website, drdavidgeyer.com. Go to the contact page and you can find out how to make an appointment to see me. The link to my website and the contact information is in the description below this video. Again, my name is Dr. David Geyer. Thank you so much for watching. I look forward to helping you feel and perform better than ever.